all right what's up y'all it's 202 wink that sun is bright today and um i just want to do a quick video on a couple of things i don't know maybe five four things that's keeping you broke yes these things are keeping you broke no money in your pocket living paycheck to paycheck never able to really enjoy yourself you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna tell you some things that i noticed that i see people doing or things that i don't do do or don't do whatever y'all know what i'm trying to say let's just get into it shit okay now the first habit that's keeping you broke you have no budget you just spend as you go oh uh what wish i glizzy say get up get it again so you just effed it up and you're getting it again because you know you can get paid next week or in two weeks so yeah like you have no budget like you just it's spending it's coming it's going and then you're wondering why you don't have no money it's because you spent it as soon as you got it or you pay no attention to how much you spent you know what i'm saying and now you're looking around like dang i don't got no money how come even though you really know how come so get a budget in there man i told y'all what i do i told y'all what i went through why i didn't get some shoes that i really could have got you know what i'm saying so like like I'm saying, man, I like to budget, like, down to my bills. Like, I, I add up my checks, take my bills out, then know how much I got left. Uh, so that was, yeah, that was one thing. Number two, treating savings accounts like it's your checkings accounts. It's called savings for a reason because you're saving it. And you shouldn't really be touching it like that unless it's like a rainy day or one of those times, you know what I'm saying? Things like that when you really need to go in it. But just having it as like a set, as soon as, you, as soon as your checking's gone, you go mess with your savings, that's no good. You're never going to save money like that. So, yeah, definitely uh, treat your savings like a real savings. Like, do whatever math you got to do or take a certain amount out of your check and put it in your savings and leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and also, not having... This, that, this, this might even be like a second part, but also not even having those type of banking bank account or savings account period that's another reason what are you doing even though even though everybody don't gotta like banks and all that we know what's going on with the banks but still at least have it somewhere you know what i'm saying just taking money and getting paid and spending it it's not yet so don't treat your uh savings account like a checks account leave it alone okay number three drug habits let's say marijuana because that's like the main thing that people uh do i'm gonna I'm just be nice but yeah like your drug habits that's another reason why you're broke because you're just spending 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 gotta get high gotta get high gotta get high gotta get high you need to monitor that for real like i don't know what to say but just monitor it you know what i'm saying i knew one dude who said he smoked 13 times a day i'm not even about to break that down yes i am from when he woke up to a shower to walk into class he explained this all to me like, if you're going to smoke and that's your habit, do it moderately. You know what I'm saying? Like, do the time, you know, uh, uh, what you call it, time it or whatever. But just going ahead and just uh, smoking four, five grams a day, seven grams a day, just, you know what I'm saying? Monitor or budget your smoking as well. Don't do drugs, kids. But, yeah, like, monitor that because, and also, don't get on those super hard drugs because it seems to me, that it's like not a, a mind thing no more it's your body that wants that shit so stay off the hard drugs and and, and do whatever you're supposed to do to like stretch stretch whatever out so and i'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to work y'all so so that's smoking loosely budget that tame that whatever you gotta do uh number four depending i'm not depending yeah depending on and owing people all the time that's another thing that's keeping you broke I always I, I try to not even like give people who never have money for real i'm not trying to uh, not even let them borrow money because you know if you never have money you're known to not have money why would i let you borrow some money knowing that i'm never gonna get it back that's dumb as shit so yeah the, so little, my bad y'all and i'm not editing this so all the stutters and stuff gonna stay in here depending on other people for money and owing people all the time is keeping you broke. Now, if you mess, if you fix your savings and build your savings up, you'll be able to go to your own savings. You wouldn't have to go to anybody else or try to depend on anybody else. Because I know with my family, they let they love to say, uh, "Oh, we know you save money, this and this and that." Mind your fucking business. Sorry, but what I save, it don't fucking matter what I save or what I have. If I can't fucking help you, I can't fucking help you. And that that refers back to the uh. 
to the treating the uh, savings account like a like a uh, checkers account as well as depending on and own people all the time. Stop! Don't get in other people's pockets because you okay. You know they're a good saver, or you, they, or they're known for you know keeping money in their pocket or having a hustle or whatever. That doesn't make you entitled to their money, son. That is not how that works, and that is a big ass pet peeve for me. You see, I didn't got like a little serious, but that is a a big pet peeve for me. Like people trying to depend on me all the time because they know I save money. I been cut that shit off. I don't care if I got it or whatever the fuck. I got it so I can get the fuck. Because, yeah, yeah, either way. So, another one, letting everybody borrow money, which leads into, like, the end of what I was just saying. Do not let everybody borrow money, like I just said. I don't care, because one, I can go through so many lanes. Just letting everybody borrow money all the time is not good. It's certain people that I will let borrow money, no matter what, because I know they're going to give it back when they say they say they can give it back. It's never, like, a crazy amount or nothing like that. But like I said, you got like uh either friends or family members that will want to keep borrowing money, keep borrowing money, keep borrowing money. Or even if they do give it back, it gets to a point where I don't if you, just work on your own money and saving shit because even if you do give it back all the time, I don't want to keep lending you money every week, every week, every week or every two weeks just because I know you're going to give it back. You need to get your stuff in order so you don't have to do that. As well as if a person cannot go to a bank and get a, a loan, don't even do it. Same thing. No bank account. Don't even do it. Like, come on. Let's do the math, okay? You want to... I'm going to just make up some numbers. You want to borrow $300 from me. You can go to your bank and get a $300 loan. Go to your bank. You know what I'm saying? Go to your bank. Go handle that money business with your bank. I don't even like mixing money with friends or family or none of that i really hate it and i can go that that can be like a whole nother video on like things that i've been through so it's like pretty much if you don't have a bank account i'm not about to lend you no money and, and just period lending money all the time no number two the fact that you think you can come to me every time every single time no you know what i'm saying so that's what's keeping people broke borrow money all the time depending on people owing people Get a side hustle together. I don't care what it is or something to keep money in your pocket. We all might need help sometimes. Things go wrong. Maybe your credit card got lost or something. You don't got no way to get no money. Things like that is understandable. But if you're living your regular day-to-day -day life and you just living wild and, and free, I'm going to call it free, you just living wild and loose, make sure you can handle that and all of that and don't go depending on other people for shit. Just like, uh, I had a video out that I never put out, and I'm going to probably redo it or whatever. Another thing, I had this dude ask me for some money, right, to borrow some money. And I'm like, ask your mother. And he got, like, mad. I'm like, fuck you mean, ask my mother. Fuck you mean what I mean. Ask your mother. That's your mother. That wasn't even me getting smart. But I'm like, don't ask me. Ask your mother. I don't like when men ask women for money, period. That's like, unless something crazy happened. Like I say, if somebody lose their wallet or, or something like that or got scammed, I can understand that. But just, like, straight up ask somebody, hey, Shawty, can I, can I borrow $50, $40? I don't care if it's 10 Ask your men, your friends, your mother, your father. You don't ask the person you date, and you damn sure don't ask a woman. Asking a woman for money is a cutoff. Almost like asking her for a ride is a cutoff. Come pick me up is a cutoff. I believe men should be already on top of their stuff anyway, and you should not be asking a woman for anything like that. Like I say, things happen, yes. This or this, yes, but it's like certain things, it's no excuse for I'm going to end up doing, finishing the video about like settling for less and all that because it's the last thing I'm going to say. It's one thing to have a certain, a certain tool to get to something. Let's say you have a driver's license and you don't have a car. Okay, cool. At least you have your license. But to not have a driver's license at all and no car, well, I've seen... I I didn't see no driver's license with cars. Shout out to my cousin. But um, either way, like, comment, subscribe, share. That was just a little thing about settling for less and also things that's keeping you broke. Nobody wants to be around a a, a, a broke person like that. You know what I'm saying? We all go through our things, but I'm just trying to show y'all like you can live better if you do decent things. I haven't always had the best jobs in the world or nothing, but I've always been a great saver. So that's how I got here. That's how I was able to get my car with like $5,000 down. That's how I was able to go pay for my fucking motorcycle cash out $3,000. Take that. That's how, and that's not to brag on nothing, but it's showing y'all that it's possible, son. Especially coming from where we come from. Shout out to the uh, DMV from D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, but I am from D.C., so 
the circumstances that I come from did not determine what I was about to be or do in my life because I'm going to live how I want to live. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm gone. I keep doing this and I know. Oh, yes, I do. Ha ha. Got it today. I'm gone.